Right, just as you face transformation, disruption, change, so of course do your important customers. And this is an opportunity for you to write a story of their future with them, if possible, which is compelling and true and will differentiate you from the other rivals for their wallet that you face. Here are some thoughts about how to do that. And by the way, this is particularly addressed to those working in B2B because I'm particularly interested in key accounts, which are probably responsible for 80% of your profits and so deserve their own bespoke story. And that's really what this is geared towards. Now, if you've seen any of my other stuff or read any of the material I've written, you'll know I normally start with them, not us. In other words, really start by thinking about the people we're seeking to engage before we start defining our own story. This is different in my view because I want us to, be, to start by defining our strengths, identify the themes that we want to talk about so that we can set the agenda. Because what we're seeking to do here is to talk to our clients about their objectives, their strategy, what matters to them, but playing to our strengths so that we're addressing their issues, but in a way that obviously reflects very well in the way we might solve those issues. And so therefore we need to start, in my view, with us in this case first. And that involves a bit of work, but the good news about this is it means firstly that your account teams are clear on their agenda, on what they want to talk about. And secondly, it means you can create content across different accounts that is consistent and coherent and can be leveraged in a bespoke way on different accounts, but it's amplified by the marketing that you do, again, that plays to those themes. So having those themes is, I think, really important. The second step, I suggest, is to seek to co-create with your key accounts this narrative. This is very powerful, you can get this right. In an ideal world, your account teams have a good enough relationship with your clients, you can say, look, we've got some ideas about the next phase of development in technology, whatever it is that we're dealing with, and what's coming down the line. And we'd love to have an open conversation with you about this and how it applies to you and what your own thoughts are, so we can come up with some, a new story of the future together that, uh, that is compelling, that's helpful to you. And if you have the right relationship, where I've, I've, I've run programs like this for clients, it's very powerful because it involves speaking to the client in advance of a workshop, speaking to, the, to, to my client, to you if you like, in advance of the workshop so that we're really clear on the two agendas and then running a workshop with the client with this agenda based on their issues and your strengths that really starts creating new possibilities that you've created together and that then leads obviously to a series of actions that can lead to more business but also most importantly a better relationship. Now, if you're not in that situation, maybe you're trying to win their business, you haven't yet got that relationship with them, then the same process can be applied to using published content about them, conversations you've had with the client, still running that workshop to build a strong, compelling, powerful, big narrative of the future that you can present to them. So while the other guys are presenting a brilliant technical solution, you've got your technical solution, but you're building a story, a vision that is much more compelling than just the solution, you're more likely to win their business. So the key here is to define and articulate a narrative with and for your key accounts. And if you do that well, this is a brilliant way to win, retain and grow those critical customers that provide probably most of your profit.